The South African Pharmacy Council presents the second episode of its virtual podcast powered by Pharmacy Professionals. If you are a health professional, an aspiring pharmacy professional, or just simply want to learn, join our community and click on the subscribe button below. Please don't forget to hit on the notification icon to get notified every time we upload a new video. Please like, share, and follow us on all our social media platforms at Official SAPC. In today's episode, we will be speaking to one of the 2020 CPD experts. We will be discussing the what's, the who's, and why it is important to submit your CPDs. Our host, Ms. Neo Ramogoka, is joined by Ms. Margarita Struch, a registered pharmacist. Ms. Struch is one of the 2020 CPD experts who submitted 26 CPD entries. Well done, ma'am. Thank you for joining us, Ms. Struch. And now for our first question. How important do you feel continuing professional development or CPD is in the pharmacy profession? I think it is important as it is expected of all the health professions in South Africa. As you know, there are four steps in the CPD process, namely reflection, planning, implementation, and evaluation. Can you briefly describe your understanding of each step? At reflection, I need to identify a specific training that I want to do. At planning, I need to give a reason why I want to do this specific training. At implementation, I mention what I did to complete this training. At evaluation, I give a summary of what I've learned during this specific training. As a CPD expert who has submitted more than 20 CPD entries, can you kindly let us in on the steps that you followed? Did you follow the same process for each or have you worked out a system that works for you specifically? I have a template of the procedure to lock the CPD activity that I use each time. I just change the topic, learning, need, reasoning, etc. each time. In closing... What advice would you give to those pharmacy professionals who may feel overwhelmed by the CPD system? Compile a template to refer back to each time to speed up the procedure. Complete your CPD activity on the site immediately after you have done your training. The more you do it, the easier it becomes. And that's all for today. Thank you to our guest, Ms. Margarita Struach. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below and let us know what you have learned or what you would love to learn. Get in touch with us. Our contact details are in the description box below. See you soon.